Hey guys, Keyforger here, and I am back. I'm going to start bringing content to you guys starting today. Uh, next couple of days is going to be Mass Mutation Set Review. I'm going to break it up into about two videos just so it's not overwhelming. Um, and after that, I'm going to bring high-level competitive content, which includes deck techs and matches and hopefully tournament matches from my locals. Whenever that opens back up, of course, we all know what's going on. Um, my locals is uh, Gardner Game Nights in Gardner, Massachusetts. So if you do live in the area, maybe southern New Hampshire or Massachusetts in general, maybe you can come out sometime. We play on Wednesdays at 7 p.m., which is a pretty decent time. It gives people time to get there. And, um, yeah, we have a pretty good group of people. The We are competitive, but we're not... We have fun with it. We're not sitting there, like, being those competitive douchebag people. We actually will teach new players. We have no problem. We do sealed most of the time, so nobody has to feel like they have to have, like, an incredible deck to come play. Um, we, like I said, are just there to have fun, get some Amber Shards, just have a good time together, you know, play Key Forge, a game that we all enjoy, and just have a good time. But we are very competitive players. Three of us did go to Voltor Albany, which was our second Voltor, and we all made day two. So we are pretty good players, which gives you an opportunity to learn if you are a newer player or you're not very confident in your abilities. Um, come down anyway. Uh, just have a good time with us. That's, that's all we want. Um, so links to Gardner Game Nights, both Facebook and their website, will be down in the bar below. So make sure you guys check those out. If you are interested in coming. So my idea going forward is to just bring better content than I was bringing before. Because the content, when I look back, it was terrible. We were doing a lot of misplays. We were playing uh, artifacts as actions. We were, you know, forgetting to gain amber. Forgetting to forge keys, which we still do sometimes. I mean, I think everybody does. Uh, but... It, but the content wasn't up to par of what I wanted to bring and showcase. And I feel like now I can bring that content at a really high level, even higher than I thought I could back then. Um, I was going to restart making videos about six months, maybe four to six months after I stopped. Um, but then I just didn't. And now here I am. Uh, so I think it's the perfect time with Mass Mutations on its way to just start making content again. Try to get set up with the locals so I can start making videos there, which I don't think they'll have a problem with because they do do uh, Smash Brothers stuff. So they do streams and stuff like that with Smash. So I, I don't see why they would have a problem with me recording matches. Uh, that'll just do comms over because it'll be real loud in there and won't make for great content if it's super loud. But yeah, my overall expectation is just to keep up constant content, um, maybe follow the news a little bit, do set reviews deck reviews deck techs are going to be big this deck i went 4-0 with on day one of albany voltor so that's going to be my next deck tech which will be after these next two videos probably because i can't really do matches at the moment uh and then maybe we'll see where we're at uh maybe i can get one of my friends to come over because i know my wife's not going to want to record um, so maybe I can get one of my friends to come over and come play a couple of matches. We'll see. I'll talk to them, see what's going on. Of course, we have to take precaution because of the situation we're in. And, uh, yeah, I just want to bring some good content to you guys. That's all. I don't want to bring the garbage I was bringing before. It's important to have consistent, good content. Um, I have a lot of decks now. <laughs> I have way more decks than I had back then. So I can bring bad decks, good decks. We can just do blind decks kind of thing. Um, obviously, we're going to still do sealed content where uh, I'll just buy a couple of decks or a box and open them up and play against each other blind, which is my favorite way of playing Keyforge. I think it's what lends the game so well to um, the consumers that you can just buy a deck and it could be good. Or you can just buy a deck and it could be garbage. And you take that risk. And it's sort of like gambling. But at the same time it's gambling. But you can do something with it. You're not just scratching something. Or rolling one die and hoping that it lands on seven. You know you're you're playing cards. And you can keep that deck forever. And you can play it even if it's bad. And just have a good time. So um, yeah look forward to high competitive content coming forward uh, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can get notifications and and such if you hit the little bell I guess um, and just yeah I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you all staying safe and uh, I will see you guys later